Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and it's cast time once again. And um, let me go ahead and intro this real quick. Uh, this is going to be Great Mercenary, uh, first story of a young mercenary and magical tree. Um, this just came out today, so it's brand spanking new. And it, all, it also came from, of all places, Indonesia. So yeah, they got, they're playing Dungeon Synth over in Indonesia, which another, another surprise is, uh, I thought, uh, I didn't think anybody spoke English over there. I thought it was all Indonesian language, unless, uh, I mean, I mean, it's written in English, unless they, uh, unless they made, uh, two different album covers over there or something, like one in the Indonesian language and another one in English. Well, yeah, I just... Big surprise, though. I mean, Indonesian dungeon synth. But, uh, although, kind of like, uh, kind of like yesterday, um, I already forgot the name of the album I played yesterday, but, uh, technically this is classified as dungeon synth, but it's actually a pretty, uh, pretty heavy, uh, pretty, pretty heavy on a piano. Although, okay, okay, I got, now that I think about it, um, Another old school Dungeon Synth album. I think I played it on here once or twice. In fact, it got up. They decided to monetize that album recently. I talked about this before. I had to, I had to delete a few of my uh, cast videos because the videos that had this, that had a, what was the name? Lamentation, a full moon over, over some German city. But uh, every video I had that had that album in there, I had to delete because they all got copyright claimed. Like I said, they decided they wanted to monetize their music, so I ended up getting fuckled in the process. So, I'm, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of going off on a tangent here, but, uh, but yeah, back then, it was classified as Dungeon said so, okay. But like I said, this is, um, it's pretty heavy on a piano, so. Oh, and something else, too. This wasn't my first choice. Um, actually, I've been listening to a fair amount of lowercase music, but, um, Stupidly, I started listening to it, um, not even thinking to do a copyright check on the albums that I was listening to. Of course, me think probably me thinking, this is lowercase music. Why the hell would they ever want to monetize this stuff? But come to find out later that that's exactly what they did. They uh, monetize these albums; they're all copyrighted, so I can't use them. So I had to kind of cobble. I had to kind of cobble this together. Luckily, I have this in my uh, Watch Later playlist. So, Great Mercenary to the rescue! So, anyway, let's go ahead and fire it up. Okay. But, anyway, to start with, um, just did my, uh, did my usual pinball stream, um, and FX3, it went about average. Um, it's kind of a kind of a bad matchup week, uh, bad tables. So I'm really gonna have to struggle just to stay afloat, just to be able to stay in my current tier. Um, as far as the tournaments go, same thing, about average. I think I, I think I won one tournament, but then I was just just middle of the pack and all the rest of the tables that I tried out. Uh, Pinball Arcade, though, however, um, I kicked ass there. Just, they, um, I mentioned yesterday, I could, I started on the Pinball Arcade tournament yesterday, and eventually I took first place. Um, today, I decided to go ahead and, uh, stream it. Like, um, the tournament lasted until, like, 8 p.m. today. So, so, like I said, I went ahead and streamed me up uh, doing the Pinball Arcade Tournament, and I won. Uh, like I said, tournament ended at 8 p.m., um, and I ended up winning. So, it was a silver tournament, took first. So, I'm going to be, um, so I'm good to go for the gold tournament uh, whenever that starts up. I'm guessing about a month from now. So, let me, um, let me take a drink of some uh, Arizona green tea. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. You, yep, YouTube's fucking up on me. I gotta... Okay. Okay. 
There we go. Fixed it. And I already fixed it. Get out of there, pop up. Okay. Now I'm going to take a drive. So, uh, but after that, oh, that was something else too. Um, one of my longest standing followers, uh, Aptitude. Oh, I'm going to rewind back a little bit. Um, but uh, an, an additional upside and a bit of a downside, I'll, I'll get to both here. But um, one of my longest standing followers, uh, Aptitude, he came by at the right time. Because... Uh, his all-time favorite table is Black Hole, which was part of the tournament. So, oh God, was, oh God, he was spoiled rotten. Because, like I said, Black Hole was actually one of the six tables that was chosen for this tournament. So yeah, he. So yeah, he really got a treat. But yeah, I played. I tried to play my best on Black Hole, and I think I got like. I want to say like two or three million. Which is, um, I think that's enough to be in the top five high scores outside of a tournament, so. But on the downside, um, one of my longest, stand one of my other longest standing followers, um, Crazy FYI, I think that's his name. I'll just call him Crazy for short. But yeah, he came on just as I was up, just as my stream was ending. Um, I just, I had a bunch of shit I had to get taken care of this evening. So I didn't, didn't really have time to stick around. And plus, I had pretty much done, I had pretty much done the best I could in this tournament. So it just would have been, uh, it just would have been a waste of effort. Maybe play some random tables or something. But again, I had a, I, I had to shut down around 5 p.m. Because like I said, I still, I had to get my block post taken care of, and I, I had quite a bit to put down there because quite a bit happened. I mean, again the pinball arcade tournament so I had to get that done I had to get grow I had to get up uh, some of the girl I had to get my grocery shopping taken care of I forgot to get some stuff yesterday because I got a bad memory so I try to get all that squared away before the stores closed uh, stores around here closed around 10 p.m. so but I want to try to get all the shopping done all my shopping done by between 8 or 9 p.m. So it might, one might think, uh, one might think that I, uh, that gives me all the time on the world, but what I'm, what I'm actually doing is I'm hopping around to different grocery stores. You know, I can only get certain types of food at certain types of locations. Like, uh, the chicken breast that some of you guys might, some of the chicken breast, the chicken breast that some of you guys might have seen me eat, I can only really get that at one location. It's the, uh, it's not the best, but it's the uh, most cost-effective. You know that kind. Of, you know, decide an example. But like, I, I don't always get everything I need from Walmart. So, and then there's a matter of uh, actually trying to get this cast put together. So that usually takes a while. So, uh, but otherwise, aside from that, I uh, played some Gems of War. Same thing, just uh, stuck with PvP. Um, I tried the new autoplay feature. I think I did this yesterday too. I don't like it. It you can only uh, you can only play it at half speed, whereas I want to set it to full speed. And then on top of that, it only works for one scenario or for one battle. I mean, you still gotta you still have to like restart the battle and all that. And then you turn autoplay on, so. It's a step in the right direction, but it's still got a fair far to go, though. Like I said, in, in, we need to be able to set it up to max speed, and it needs to be able to automatically restart. So, um, but otherwise, aside from that, though, um, just just uh, watch some more Amoeba videos. Um, just watch some of that, and um, just, but not as much this time. I think I watched like 
by a couple, two or three artists, and ended up quitting halfway through when, when all the albums that they were into was just stuff that I didn't care for, like, like tip of the tip of the iceberg or in the, the skies above the iceberg, the skies above the iceberg, just basically popular, well-known shit. Just music that I just don't care for anymore. So, just been watching some of that, and then um, one thing, one thing that I also started, I I think I started watching this either yesterday or this morning. It was a full-blown video. Um, like the music iceberg explained, or either every music genre explained. Like this guy, I forget his name, but. I, I subbed to this guy just like that. Like he, um, he took the music iceberg image that I showed yesterday. Um, and he actually did a rundown on what every single every, on what every single one of those genres were. So yeah, this guy has become my new music encyclopedia. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another drink here. But yeah, he would uh he would explain what every single one of these genres are, which really helps somebody like me, cause compared to what I see what I saw on this uh on this I music iceberg, I've only mainly scratched the surface. I mean, I'm into I'm into I'm into some pretty obscure music. I mean, you're listening to some of it right now, but I mean those that have uh checked out my other cast videos know pretty well that I'm I'm into some pretty obscure stuff. But even then, I haven't listened to everything that there is to listen to out there. Not even close. So, but just been wa watching that. I uh, watched that a lot this morning. Also watched a lot of it, a lot of it this evening. I think I'm in the, I'm probably about, about halfway through this, uh, this three hour long video. Yeah, it's like freaking three hours. So, he does a pretty damn good job. Um, secondly, he, um, he actually, uh, went around, he actually avoided a lot of copyright by, uh, by playing each, uh, music clip for no longer than, like, five seconds. Maybe longer if it, uh, if it actually was free to use, he'd play it for longer. But then secondly, he also had a lot of music videos on there, which, <laughs> which he actually got around the, around that by, uh, having this, uh, anime girl, like, <laughs> dancing in front of some of the music videos. <laughs> especially like the especially like the hardcore rap videos and stuff it looks freaking hilarious <laughs> but yeah it, it was a really awesome way to it was a really awesome touch to the to this video you know it, it was also a pretty ingenious way of getting around on uh, YouTube's uh, copyright ID um uh, but uh other video other chat videos from channels that I've seen over the years they kind of do the same thing except worse like they'll they'll distort it or they'll lower the quality, or they'll have like a they'll have a bunch of obscure stuff that actually interferes with the video and like really kills the immersion and that kind of thing. But yeah, like I said, pretty pretty brilliant move on his part to do this. And um and then out of curiosity, I also did a I did my usual copyright check on this video. Out of that whole three-hour video, and um, that whole three-hour video, all that copyrighted music he was playing, only five of them went, only five of them got through. So I thought that was pretty impressive. I mean, I mean you know, I mean, it's like, in case I didn't say a few moments ago, I mean, he's playing a lot of copyrighted music on here, but again, he's only playing like five second clips and then for the ones that had music videos I mean you know he had the affirmation affirmation anime girl like dancing in front of him so so yeah pretty brilliant on his part oh and then on top of that um, I think it just dropped the video just dropped I think yesterday he has a uh, he's got a part two of this and I forgot to see how long the video was, but yeah, there's 
There's even more genres out there. So, got that on my watch later playlist, so I'll be getting to that eventually. And then, um, one thing that also it kind of prompted me to do is, um, I might go ahead and do another music genre tier list. Um, armed with this additional knowledge, you know, all these, you know, these explanations of what all these genres that I've never heard of are. I, again, I might actually uh, do another music genre tier list. You know, it might be a little more accurate. Although, one thing I did notice, it's kind of a trend that I noticed that if a genre has the word core in its name, it automatically sucked. With few exceptions here and there, like, uh, Hardcore punk. Usually that music there is pretty cool, but I mean, you had like French core, um, grind core, um, oh, what else is there? I think there's like house core, uh, French core, in case I didn't say already, uh, dub core. But again, if, um, if a genre had the word core, in its name, it sucked. I mean, especially the especially the tech the electronic stuff. I mean, if you thought boots, 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 boots was annoying as shit, you can only imagine what some of those other genres are. That was real fucking annoying. And then they had some that were up, that were even more faster than that. Like what was it like? 600 BPMs and <laughs> that shit got annoying. So yeah, it. But like I said, sorry to sound like a broken record, but one thing I noticed: if it had "core" in the name, I might. If I ever get around to making that tier list, I might actually make a separate tier of that. It's core. It sucks. Something like you know, title it that or something. But yeah, like, Speedcore was one. Oh my fucking god. Murder on the ears. So. But yeah, that was a day. So, or I should say, that's today. Um, but otherwise, um, that's going to do it for me every... That's going to do it for me, everybody. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and call it good. I've said all the things that I wanted to say today. So, um, And today will be my last cast for the week. So my work week has started up uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So that's my work week. So you won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. Oh, and also, um, I said this yesterday, uh, this coming Saturday... There's a good chance that there won't be a stream. Um, I've got a I've got a family shinding that I have to go to. I think it's uh my nephew's 21st birthday, and it's also his uh, graduation ceremony. I'm thinking he graduated from college or something. I mean, I got a hard time imagining him uh, just graduating from high school on his 21st. He's 21 years old and just now getting out of high school. But. But we'll, well, but I'll, I'll, I'll find out, find out come Saturday. Like I said, um, a good chance that there's not going to be a stream on Saturday. And again, my work week, so you won't be hearing from me again until Sunday morning. So, but, but otherwise, hey, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I'll, I guess I'll see you all on Sunday morning. So, but until then. Thanks again for dropping by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.